Hi, I'm Trisha Morris from Club Scrap and I've got some great techniques to show you today using the uh, Spring Chorus masking stencil um, of the fern and then also the Faber-Castell Pit Big Brush Pens and all of these cards were made using just those tools and some rubber stamps. So let's get started. What you'll need is a um, nonstick craft sheet and then your pit pens in a choice of any color. You can choose um, darker tones or coordinating tones, contrasting tones, and I've picked um, a blue and a teal and a lime green. I'm just coloring along here on the nonstick craft sheet, and you can see how the ink colors are just beating up on the nonstick craft sheet. Like they're just sitting there, doesn't look very impressive at all. Uh, but that's okay because brighter things to come. There they are, and I'm going to take a just a water misting bottle and lightly mist some water over the inks. And they beat up, kind of like when you've got turtle wax on the car and you spray it with water, all those little beads. And I'm taking a, a piece of white paper on the plain white side, printed on the other, and you can see how the beads transfer to that paper panel. I love the look. And then you can keep going and um, just dab up a little bit more of that ink from the pen until you're satisfied with how the panel looks. Just little gentle dabbings, and it adds a lot of interest to this panel. Next, you'll take some Memories Mist. This is an iridescent metallic mist. You can use any kind of glimmer mist or homemade mist that you have on hand and spray your panel. And then you'll want to heat set it so that glimmer mist just adds another dimension. In fact, when your panel is wet and you spray it, the, the particles kind of run around. It's very cool. So from the Spring Chorus Unmounted Stamp Sheet, I'm using this organic image of an unmounted stamp. And I've got it on my acrylic block here and using the same big brush pen from earlier. And what that guarantees me is that the ink color is going to match what I've already have stamped here on my panel. So um, I will just color directly onto the stamp and then stamp onto the panel. And I'll do a double duty here. So stamp once onto the panel and then rotate the panel and stamp again. So that would be a half strength image and just to get all the ink off the stamp. With an image like this that always works kind of nice. Um, then starting again with another stamping and inking, rotate, and just kind of keep going until the entire panel is full of this what I would call a noise image. Um, it's kind of like maybe tree branches on a small scale and it's going to look great. I'm using one color. You could mix up the colors however you want to do it. Entirely up to you. And you'll kind of get a feel for when your panel is complete. Um, but you can see how everything coordinates because I'm using the same um, ink that I used in the background. Looks great. Next I'll take the masking stencil from the Spring Chorus Club Scrap Kit at Club Scrap and I'll place it onto the panel and I'll squirt out some uh, white acrylic paint. You could also use gesso if you have that on hand. And then also a very primitive brush. This is almost like a disposable brush. and um, painting directly onto the stencil. I'll make sure I have uh, some rough brush marks kind of going off the edge. So this, you can see how much attention to detail I'm putting in here on this. Not, not a lot. <laughs> and I'm clearly trying to keep my fingers out of the paint, but um, just trying to leave a perimeter around the entire masking stencil and uh, just working very freely and removing that, look at how beautiful that looks. That panel is just awesome. Now right away, and this is critical, don't waste any time here. Um, take your stencil and place it on a protected work surface and use a paper towel, whatever you have on hand, a rag, something, and immediately wipe away the paint from that um, masking stencil. If you wait too long and it dries, you'll have to work on the sink and kind of scrub it off. But there is my finished panel, and isn't that gorgeous? Once those panels are done, you can uh, layer them onto a nice folded card in a coordinating color, matte with black. And then your panel, of course, you'll want to stamp a greeting onto it as a fourth and final layer, and they will look fabulous. Can't wait for you to give this a try.